Now on the show, I want to take a look at a new film that's hit Australian cinemas at the moment. It's called A Hero, and it's the brand new film from Ashgar Fahadi, who is fast becoming one of my favourite uh, film directors. I still think his film, A Separation, is one of the best films that I've ever seen. And I have to say that A Hero is right up there as well. Now, I will have to preface this, and I hate having to say this, because there is a legal case going on around this film at the moment, um, where allegedly a student is saying that um, Hardy actually stole this idea from him. Um... I don't want to go too much into that because I don't know the ins and outs of the case and I don't want to really have to comment on it. Um, what I will judge this film on is by what I saw on the screen and what we've been told so far. This, of course, was the official submission from Iran for the Best International Feature Film at the Academy Awards and I can clearly see why. This film centres around a character called Rahim, played by Amir Jadidi, who is serving time in prison um, because he was unable to repay a debt when his business went bankrupt. Now, of course, that doesn't happen in every country, but apparently it does happen in Iran, and a lot of that is left up to the person who is owed the money. Now, this is where this film becomes very interesting, because Rahim is a pretty decent guy. Um, you learn very early on that the reason he went bankrupt was because his business partner went AWOL, sending the business broke. So he's basically wearing the punishment that somebody else um, should be enduring, or at least sharing with him. Now, things start to look up for him when his girlfriend on the outside finds a bag full of money at a bus stop. Now, one of the weird things about the Iranian prison system is prisoners can get leave from prison. So when Rahim is home um, for one weekend, his girlfriend tells him that he should take the money, not take the gold, I should say, turn it into money and give some of it back to the person that he owes the money to, but make him promise that if he wants that money, he has to sign a document that will allow Rahim to be back in society and paying him off in small numbers. Now, Rahim starts to feel that this is not the right thing to do, that they should actually look for the person whose, um, whose gold it is, um, which he ends up doing. Uh, when he goes back to prison, the lady ends up turning up and saying that the gold is hers. Now, the prison catches wind of what's happened here and decides that they can get some good publicity out of this. So they go to the press to tell everybody about this prisoner who decided to look for the person whose gold it was. But they realize that there's a little bit of a catch here. First, Rahim can't talk about his girlfriend um, because of the, of course, strict Islamic laws and about relationships. He is a divorced man and no one knows that he's dating this woman. Um, so the prison officers decide to come up with a story that Rahim found the gold on the day that he was released and decided to hand it in straight away. Now that little white lie soon starts to turning into all kinds of trouble and soon Rahim finds himself um, in a lot of trouble. Um, through no fault of his own with any of the stuff that's happened. Not a lot happens in this film. There is a lot of uh, dialogue scenes. There are a lot of scenes in this movie where uh, Rahim's disabled son is watching what is going on. There's a lot of conversations between um, himself and his sister and his brother-in-law. Um, but this is a film about morals, and it's a film that, as we quite often see with Ashgar Fahadi's films... He explores the moral compass of humanity um, in that, in this case, you have a character called Rahim who does the right thing and it comes back to bite him in a really bad way. Now, uh, Fahadi's way of getting suspense into a film is these beautifully written dialogue scenes where there's times in this movie you can just see Rahim in a meeting and he's having dirt dug more and more onto him, making him look like a liar, and you really, really feel for him. Um, the emotional involvement that you get 
in this film is nothing short of sensational. Now, I'm not 100% sure that I that I liked the ending of this film, but it's something that you get used to with Fahadi. You don't get Hollywood endings with him. Um, you you get endings that are probably more likely of what's going to happen in real life, and that's what happens with this film as well. I think Amir Jadidi is absolutely fantastic in this film. So is the young actor that plays his son. Um, this is an amazingly fantastic film. Um, that's why I don't really want to go into the whole thing about who wrote this film, whose idea it was. Um, that'll play out in court, of course. Um, but for now, I just want to say that, th for me, this is one of my favourite films of the year. I think it's an absolutely fantastic film, and I'm giving it five stars. <laughs>